Hi, I'm Zarar from Raptors Republic, and today we're going to look at what happened in that first half in Game 5, where the Raptors' offense just wasn't able to manufacture anything. A lot of it had to do with the Celtics' defense, but the Raptors' offense was anemic by all accounts. Let's take a look at the action. They ran this play a couple times in Game 4 with Siakam on the block against Brown. But the thing to notice here is, look how static the entire offense is. The other four guys are just staring and watching Siakam make his move. There's nobody in offensive rebounding position. Not the greatest way to start the game with such a static and an ISO offense, especially when the Celtics are looking like they have high energy. You want to get them moving on their feet a little bit, not just set in, settle in, and just watch their best defender arguably guard a guy who he has essentially shut down the entire series. Lowry will split the screen here and attack the rim which is great. Uh, the reason I froze it here is to look at the spacing on the bottom of the floor here with Gasol and OG at the same spot. That makes this very very easy to defend and it also takes away a passing option from Lowry if he chooses to drive which he does. So despite the aggressive attack the lack of floor spacing on this play results in a passing option being reduced for Lowry and allows the Celtics to defend easier. Even at the end here when the Celtics do contest, Gasol and OG are essentially in opposite positions. Gasol should be inside and OG should be the one outside. It's this kind of stuff that happened throughout the game which, which really resulted in the Raptors' demise. Pretty good play here with Gasol and Van Lee running a high screen and Gasol slipping straight to the rim. But the problem here is you got to go up with two hands, man. The Celtics are too good at blocking shots, too athletic. Their reach is too good. You got to either get fouled or get two points. But if you go up soft with one hand, this is the result you're going to get. Two hands every time in this situation. So Gasol's going to get a lot of hate in this game, and rightfully so. He was not good. And in this play, I just want to focus on his shot readiness. So the Celtics already know that he's not going to shoot because he's so hesitant. But at least look like you might shoot. And the way you do that is you at least look like you're shot ready. As Lowry's passing him the ball here, look at his feet. Those feet are not ready to take a shot. So Kemba Walker, it's an easy defense for him because he knows he doesn't have to jump. He doesn't have to close out. He can just expect Gasol to pass. And that just puts, it just reduces the pressure on the Celtics defense and makes life for the entire offense that much harder. This is one of the better offensive plays the Raptors ran all night long. And it's so simple. It's a quick high screen and roll and Ibaka immediately gets post position, which is the key. You got a smaller guy on you, you get post position on him. Don't bail him out by going outside. Punish him for being small and do, do it quickly. Here he establishes post position without even having the ball and by the time he gets the ball he's in great position and when he gets the ball it's a quick move with no hesitation this is more of what the Raptors need from their two-man game with big and small great defense by Lowry to get the steal passes it to Fred this should either be two points or an and one but because Fred's court vision is so limited he doesn't even see Norm. I don't think he even thinks about making that bounce pass to Norm to get the two and harm. Instead, he goes against Smart, who's a great defender, and gets the ball stolen. So even when we had good offense, the Celtics had better defense, and this play shows that. Brown goes for the steal against Lowry, and Lowry, like the good player he is, looks at the reach and drives the rim immediately because he knows Brown is out of position. OG makes the right cut by going into the heart of the lane, but man, Smart tracks him, and he contests a shot. Th this is usually two points on any given night, but on this night, against this Celtics defense, even good offense was met with great defense. I selected this clip because I want to highlight how every time the Raptors have to make a pass back out to the perimeter, they have to put a little bit of extra air on the pass, give it a little extra height to evade the Celtics' length. And what that does is it forces the receiver of the pass to stand out further back so they can catch it in safety. And it also increases the gather time for the receiver, making them less of a three-point threat. This is a constant thing that happens, especially when Fred drives. And it, it, it sort of just slows the offense down and allows the Celtics more time to set their defense. In this case, they swing it around a little bit more. But eventually, as you can see, Tatum steals the ball from Lowry. Great defense by the Celtics all around. <sighs> that was rough, man. That was pretty rough. That was pretty, pretty, pretty rough.